watching Zoe go on like a full on real journey of like what is she, what is it that she wants to make what is she what is it she wants to say mm. how does she want people to like experience these things that she wants people to understand and mm. know and and uh yeah i don't know it was for me my first i guess reaction was just ambitious and like and and i was like anybody's taking this big of a swing i want to be mm -hmm. a part of it mm -hmm. I remember reading it and being like, this is explosive. This is like, it feels like it could make an impact. Mm -hmm. And like the most exciting work to make is ones that like leave an imprint on people and really encourage conversation. That's like one of my big, like, I love when that happens. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it felt like that for me. I was like, this one, it's gonna make a difference. I play Frida. <laughs> and um, I just want a vacation. <laughs> He just, just wants a vacation. <laughs> I play Slater King. Um, and um, I have a private <laughs> island. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work perfectly. <laughs> I remember when I read it and like you, you know, you have everybody that you like kind of are picturing. And I think the first time I was like reading it and now, now we we're like going to cast like I had I don't know I just you read things in a different way than than like obviously real life mm. and I remember just having these other ideas of who these people were yeah. and then Zoe kind of was like no I don't want them to be lame people yeah. I don't want them to suck like I want them to actually be kind of awesome mm -hmm. and like that's the reason why you go to the island mm -hmm. in a way and I was like that's genius because you're so used to when you, I think when you read either a novel or a script or whatever, yeah. you put yeah. these like generic like mm. stereotypes mm -hmm. on these people because mm. you know what their, you know what their, um, their purpose is in, yeah. in like the story and who they are and what their device is. Mm -hmm. And I think I just was going at the lowest common denominator like version of them. And mm. Zoe was like, no, I want to cast like all dope people that aren't these like, aren't these just like, you know, yeah. boring cliches, mm -hmm. and and like that was like kind of brilliant in my yeah. mind. Um, yeah. So yeah. The cast, I think as well, like it was so important to bring together a group of people that were all about the work and like the joy of it and the joy of being together, and and also that she brought together a bunch of people who were dope and like mm -hmm. got along and loved art and music and dancing and partying and talking deep and like talking light and making jokes and it just became like when when cut would happen mm -hmm. we would just continue we'd be like mid conversation blah, 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 action acting 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 cut and then continue a conversation because there was so much to talk about and then she would have this accent when we yell cut and then she would just be in like a perfect american accent and we would all just be like and you're freaking oh, me out man stop. like I, I feel like i'm not okay with this like because that's how good she is she would just be like she could be like ripping a joke over here and like and, and sounding like she does right now and then action and she's just like tear perfect tear like down down the cheek on cue this film is about a young cocktail waitress named Frida who meets uh, Slater King, who is a tech billionaire, at his charity gala, and he invites her and her friend Jess to his private island with his friends, and they go, and it seems like everything's great, and then slowly things start to get stranger and stranger and more terrifying, and she needs to get out of there. <laughs> I wanted to explore the themes of power, abuse of power, what's attractive about power, power dynamics. I also wanted to talk about and explore the absurdity of what society asks of women. Um, you know, we're often asked, we're, we're often expected to um, smile through our pain and our trauma, to pretend like we're okay when we're not, and to forget what's been happened, what, what's happened to us. I love my cast so much. I, I really still can't believe I got the actors that I got. And we all lived in Mexico um, at the location where we shot the film. So it, it was like this, you know, we were all living where we were working and that could have gone horribly wrong, but we had so much fun. Everyone got along so well. It was like summer camp. And I really do believe that you see that kinship and that friendship and that fun uh, on the screen when you, when you see everybody together. As someone that loves 
cinema. I love like, going to the movies is my favorite activity. And so I definitely designed this film uh, with with that in mind, um, that, you know, from the visuals to the sound, um, but also just to the storytelling in itself. It's I've now just gotten to experience watching this movie with a room full of people, and it's so much more fun that way. You get to hear everybody gasp and laugh, and the tension, you can feel it in the room. It's, it's an incredible communal experience, and I, I really hope people go to the theater to see it.